This morning, we woke up to a glorious winter wonderland. During the night, it was not very cold, so the heavy snowfall had settled on every twig, no matter how tiny. And as the day wore on, the sun came out and further enhanced the scenery. And right when we woke up, our hummingbirds were there, heavily fluffed up on top of the snowy branches. They are Anna's hummingbirds, and their presence here in winter is relatively recent. Fifty years ago, they used to be considered birds of California. That changed gradually. I first became aware of them in winter here on southern Vancouver Island, British Columbia, during the serious winter of 1989, with temperatures down to minus 20 degrees centigrade. On the campus of the University of Victoria, I was surprised to hear their song and saw them avail themselves of the contents of hummingbird feeders. After that, it took 14 years until 2003 before I observed them near my home, west of Victoria, in Mitchelson. That was in 2003 in the Tower Point area of British Lagoon Park in Mitchelson. And it took two more years before they appeared on our farm, some three kilometers further west, near the core of Mitchelson. That was across the road from where we are now and where these pictures were taken. They sit fluffed up little balls of feathers with their tiny feet on the snowy branches and every few minutes they dash off to the feeder which provides them with sugar water. On the surface, this is an example of slow adaptation to new conditions, like the availability of feed in winter. But beyond that, it's an example of how evolution works and happens.